Come and leave here. You do this. Okay. I'm gonna paint too. Yeah, show me how to paint. Wait, wait, say hi. For my husband Aaron and me, nothing was more rewarding than the love of our family. We had been blessed with three beautiful children: Aaron Jr., Adam, and Abby Jean. And our hearts went out to other couples who were unable to share that same joy in their own lives. That's why Aaron and I decided that my being a surrogate mother for an infertile couple would be a wonderful and meaningful thing to do. We knew all about the complications with the baby M case, but never in a million years could we have predicted what would happen to us. I'm Patty Nowakowski, and this is my story. Okay, kids are off to school. You almost ready? Yeah, just about. I just don't want to be late. All right. You just relax. I don't know what you're so worked up about. This is important to me, Aaron. I thought it was important to you too. It is. I'm not acting like it. Well, you're acting like the decision's already made. We're just going to talk to this guy today. Remember? I know. I know. I mean, this is a big commitment. H how do we even know that we can do this? No, no, no. You mean how do I know that I can do it? All right. Yes, Patty. I've seen you give birth to three children, and I got to tell you, I have a hard time imagining you giving up one of your babies. Aaron, that's just it. This is not going to be one of my babies. I know that going in. I'm not going to get attached to it. I don't know how you can be so sure of that. Aaron, this is a chance for us to do something really important. Excuse me, us being together, having kids—that isn't important. Yes, it's important. Of course, it's important. But to make a difference in someone else's life, not everyone can do that. And you said yourself you thought it was worthwhile. I do think it's worthwhile. So do I, and that's what's going to get me through it. All right, all right. Look, I just don't want us rushing into anything, okay? No, no. no. I mean, you said yourself that all we're going to do today is, is talk, talk, right? Right. Now remember, you have to pick up that stuff from Donna's on the way home. No problem. I hope this doesn't take long, because I have a mid-morning staff. Oh, you know something? Joe called. Your game is at six. You know, this is a crazy day to be doing this. Aaron, every day is a crazy day. You know what I love about you? I love the way you complicate our lives. I can't tell you the kind of satisfaction I feel each and every time one of these precious babies is born. I'm as proud of them as I am of my own children. In fact, one of them has even been named after me. This little one here is Danielle. Uh, Forgive me for going on like this, uh, please. But the work we do here is more than a profession to me. Because by the time couples come to me, they've exhausted every other possibility. These children are really wanted. Yes, we know. That's exactly why we want to get involved. I'm glad to hear that. Please, sit down. Have you brought the paperwork? Yeah, here's the form you sent us. My medical history and... Here are the pictures you asked for of me and the kids. Are they okay? They're perfect. You make beautiful children, Mrs. Nowakowski. Thank you. But my husband had something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, of course. That's what I meant. Um, so, uh, where do we go from here? Once Patty has been selected, uh, you will be expected to sign a contract which states you will allow yourself to be inseminated by the biological father's sperm. If you become pregnant, you agree to turn the child over to him at birth and not to contest custody. And I'd want to make an appointment for you with our psychologist. Psychologist? We screen all our potential surrogates to make sure they're legally competent and sufficiently aware of what they're getting into in order to give their informed consent. We know what we're getting into. And you don't anticipate any difficulty in giving up the child? Well, yeah. I mean, of, of course it's going to be difficult. But I'm prepared for that. I know I can do it. We feel very um, fortunate and blessed with our family. What we are considering is uh, giving someone else the opportunity to feel the same. You're both very special people, and I promise you, this will be one of the most gratifying experiences of your life. Well, you haven't said a word. 
Well, it's a, uh, it's a big step. He seems to care. Yeah, it seems that way. I like him. I like everything about it. Feels right. We'll see. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. I missed you all day. How was school, Addy? I got A on my spelling test. You got an A? Yeah, you did. 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 And there's Aaron and Abby, and that's me. Here, Abby Jean, look at this picture that your brother made. Abby Jean. You? That's you. <laughs> that's Abby Jean. Well, I think that my smart and talented family deserves a treat. So how about ice cream? Ice cream! Yay! Yay! Okay, out of the way. I'll get that. Can we go watch TV now? Do you have any schoolwork left to do? Not me. I need to host my numbers. Okay, you can watch TV for one hour, and then we'll help you. I get the choke! No, I get the I get the No fighting! I get the choke! I get the choke! Okay, well, let me talk to my wife and get back to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Who was that on the phone? It was Daniel Hall's office. There's a couple that wants to meet with us. So soon? It's only been a week. I don't know. I guess they found you irresistible. Something I've always <laughs> known, of course. Aaron, are you sure you're okay with this? I'm not going to pretend to be thrilled at the thought of you carrying another man's child. You know. What about you? Do you have any doubts? Hmm. You're still afraid that I'm going to want to keep the baby, aren't you? Uh-huh. I mean, I love our children more than anything in the world. But we agreed that three was enough. That's what I got the vasectomy for, to make sure of that. Aaron, this is not going to be our baby. I promise I will not change my mind. I just wanted to hear you say it. Can I have some ice cream now, <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> Tommy will be 10 in June. He's really a great kid. Picture was taken at prep school. He's really very bright. First mm. in his class. Bill, you're bragging. No, no, hey, a man's entitled to be proud of his son. He's the pride of my life. What about this baby? I mean, do you want another boy? I think we were kind of hoping for a girl this time. Well, daughters do have a way about them. I guess I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I just didn't think that anybody who already had children would be involved in something like this. Well, please don't hold that against us. Well, you have children. Didn't you want your third just as much as your first? Oh, well, yeah, of course. I just took it for granted that I'd be able to have all the children I wanted. So uh, after the hysterectomy... It's okay, sweetheart. I'm sorry. No, there's no need to apologize. We understand. There is one concern Patty and I have. Um, how would you feel if something was wrong? If the baby wasn't perfect? If it was physically or mentally handicapped, would we still accept it? Yes. Well, we thought about that, too. Wouldn't matter to us. I mean, it would be sad, but we'd still love it. Yes. It would be no different than if I were carrying my own child. Of course we'd accept it. Well, I had to ask you, understand? Certainly. We need to ask you something, too. Patty, can you really do this? Yes, please don't go into this unless you are absolutely sure. It would devastate us if you changed your mind. I can see how much this baby is wanted. And how much it will be loved. I won't change my mind. I promise. But 
What do you really know about these people? I mean, have you even been to their home? Have you seen them with their son? Donna, you weren't there. You didn't meet them. These are good people. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. Giving up your own child doesn't seem right. No, no, no. I am helping a couple to have the kind of big, loving family that I grew up in. So what can be wrong about that? What about the money? It works out to $1.50 an hour, okay? For all of the time and the inconvenience and the potential risk. I mean, I can make more money than that waiting table. Well, it seems like you've got your mind made up about it. This is a good thing. Look, Donna, you're my best friend, you know? I really need you to be on my side. I am on your side. I just don't want you to get hurt. Have a little bit of faith in me. I, I, I know this is a good thing to do. Okay. If you're sure. Well, you know my practice is in real estate. I know, but you're a friend and we trust you. Well, I'll tell you what I got out of it. They agreed to place $10,000 in an escrow account. Now, there's a term I know right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> and that's to be payable to Patty upon delivery of the child. And the natural father agrees to accept custody and legal responsibility for the child, regardless of any genetic or congenital abnormalities it might have. And, of course, Patty agrees to immediate and uncontested custody to the father. And, oh yes, there's something interesting here. Oh, what is it? It's a refusal of consent for you to sign, Aaron. What's refusal of consent? What is that? No, no, Aaron wants to do this. We, we decided to do it together. Yeah. Relax. All it does is protect Aaron. You see, if a married woman becomes pregnant through artificial insemination, then her husband is deemed to be the legal father. That's regardless of who the biological father might be. So, by refusing to consent to the artificial insemination, Aaron cannot be declared legally responsible for the child. Well, he wouldn't be anyway. I mean, these people want the child. That's why they're doing it. It's just a formality. Look, I'll tell you what. I can go over this all again, look at the fine print. Yeah, whatever you think is best. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Here. Or here. I guess that makes it official. Signed, sealed, and if all goes well in nine months, delivered. Doctor, are you sure she's not overdoing it? She's pregnant, Mrs. West. She's not an invalid. Yes, but she looks so run down. Maybe she needs some more vitamins. Darlene, you're doing great. I'll see you next month. Goodbye, Mrs. West. Thank you, Doctor. I see those two almost every month. The adoptive mother has practically moved in with her. Hi, I'm Tony. Patty. Hi. Your first time? Excuse me? Being a surrogate? You look a little nervous. How'd you know? <laughs> Just a guess. I was nervous my first time, too. You've been a surrogate before? My second. It's a wonderful experience. And the only part about this that bothers me is knowing it's some stranger semen they're putting inside of me and not my husband's. Mrs. Nowakowski? You can come in now.
everyone get all tucked in? Mm -hmm. Aaron. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Are you sure that nothing has changed? Well, let's not talk about that right now, okay? Aaron, when you make love to me. Patty. <laughs> I need to make love with my husband. Nice try. Blood candles, Jean. One more try. Blood your candles. Come on. Oh. Yeah. 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 I want cake. All right. Uh, let's cut the cake. I'll get ice cream. Okay. Who wants cake? Me. 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 I want cake. Oh. Me. Me. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna get some cake. All right. You won't believe it. Aaron has spilled juice everywhere. Oh. Patty? Are you all right? No, I don't think so. You've never gotten sick this early before. I know. I'm calling a doctor. I don't have time for that, Aaron. To Patty and Aaron. <laughs> Two very special people. Yes. Oh, let's just toast to um, a healthy and happy baby. Here, here. Absolutely. <sighs> this really is happening, isn't it? A baby after all this time. I just hope I remember what to do. Oh, you'll be fine, I'm sure. You were quite young when you started your family, weren't you? Yeah, I guess we were, weren't we? Yeah, we had Aaron Jr. the first year we were married, and then Adam the year after that. Yeah. What about that beautiful little girl of yours? You must have been thrilled when she was born. I was thrilled when all my kids were born. Of course you were. Do you have plans to have any more children? <laughs> I mean, of your own. No, no, no more children. We're happy just with the family we have. Here, here. <clears throat> There's a baby in there? That's right. You remember when Abby was in Mommy's tummy, don't you? I do. Abby's baby. <laughs> That's right. That's Abby's baby. Just like you and Adam and Aaron Jr. are Mommy and Daddy's babies. Mm -hmm. But this baby belongs to another Mommy and Daddy who can't have one on their own. They can't? No. And they're very, very sad because they want a little baby so much. Why don't they just get one from God? I, I really love them. Well, they are, sweetheart. All babies come from God. I like That's right. Her. But first they need to grow, and that's what Mommy's doing. She's letting this baby I grow inside her tummy, and then when it's born, so it will nice. go and live with its Mommy and Daddy. I'm building a big house. Do you understand? You. Do you have any questions you want to ask us? Can we go outside and play now? <laughs> yeah, why don't you guys go outside and play now? Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Abby comes up with more excuses for not going to sleep than any child I have ever known. Did you ask anything? About the baby, I mean. Not a word. Boys? No questions? Nothing. You know, when we told them this morning, I was kind of relieved at the way they took it. But now, doesn't it seem kind of weird? It's like, no big deal. 
Well, think about it, Patty. I mean, what do they know about having babies? To them, this is probably all perfectly normal. Yeah, I guess. Haven't you ever heard the saying, don't borrow trouble? Let's forget about kids for tonight, huh? What are you doing? Just relax. Oh, <laughs> that feels rather good. <laughs> you know, I've been doing some thinking. And after all this is over, and the baby's born, and you're feeling up to it, let's get away for a few days. Just the two of us. We can't do that. Of course we can. My sister will watch the kids. Okay. Where would we go? Uh, maybe uh, to the mountains. Mm -hmm. We could go to that uh, that lodge we've talked about, the one with all the little cabins. And hot tubs. Hmm? Mm. I've heard they have hot tubs. I've heard they have the warmest hot tubs <laughs> and room service. Oh, please, me. I want you all to myself again. Just for a little while. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Congratulations! Why didn't you tell me you and Patty were having another child? What? Well, I saw Patty at the store. She's out there here. <laughs> Boy, you're a sucker for punishment, aren't you? Well, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, hey, all kidding aside, I think it's great. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh. Well, of course, now you got my wife all hot on the idea. So, hey, what do you want it to be? Boy or girl? Well, we really haven't thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. As long as it's healthy, right? Right, right. <laughs> so did Dave get those specs back to you on the Carson job? Yeah. You think that was a good idea? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to see if I could find something from Bill and Sharon. You're already giving them a baby. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come on. I'll race you to the car. Oh, the race move. <laughs> Come on. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I just have to catch my breath. You're not in any pain, are you? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm... No, I just don't remember getting this tired with the others. I mean, this one never stops moving. Hmm. You see, right there, there's its legs. And there's its spine. And there's its little heart beating. <laughs> there's its neck. And there's its head. Oh, it's moving. Can you see it? Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> well, I'll be. What is it? Is something wrong? Another head. Another head? Twins, Mrs. Nowakowski. You're going to have twins. I hope you're happy about this. You want some more coffee? Well, do you have anything stronger? Uh, beer. <laughs> no, it's okay. And you're happy about this, aren't you? Oh, Patty, I'm sorry. Yes, of course we're happy. We're just so... Surprised. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Surprised? Surprised? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I know. I almost fell off the table when the doctor told me. I have a picture of him. You're so cute here. <laughs> Look at them. <clears throat> Look at them. They're all they're all snuggled up together. All oh. protected. Oh. <laughs> Do we know what they are? You mean the sex? Oh, yeah, I know the sex of one of them. You want to know what it is? Yes. You don't want to wait and be surprised. 
I don't think anything can top this for surprise. No. <laughs> Please. Congratulations, you have a son. Wow. That's wonderful. That is just grand. A son. Honey? Yeah. It's wonderful. And what about the other? When will you know? Oh, not till they're born. Is everything okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. Every... We couldn't be happier. It's, it's just that family and friends, everybody's anxious to know. They all want to start shopping. <laughs> yeah. Good, because you're going to need two of everything. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Two. <laughs> Patty, are you okay? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go read for a while. Do you mind? Hmm. Go on. <clears throat> Aaron, did Bill and Sharon seem happy to you? Sure. I mean, I know they said they were happy, but they didn't seem very excited. Well, I, I, I think they were excited. You think so? Sure. I think they were just in, um, just in shock. Yeah, I guess so. Patty, are you sure you're not having second thoughts, you know, about giving them up? No. Because they're not our babies, sweetie, you know. I know that. Don't worry. Well, I am worried. I, I think it was going to be hard enough for you to give up one. Uh, how are you going to feel about giving up two babies? I think in a certain way it's going to be easier. Really? Yeah. I know it sounds strange, but at least with two, I know that they'll never be alone. You know, they'll always have each other. Remember, we explained that these babies don't belong to us. They belong to another family. Could we just keep one? Well, don't you think it would get awfully lonely for its brother or sister if we did that? I guess. Me too. Why don't you go outside and play? Erin, I'm coming outside to play. What you got there? Oh, some of the kids' baby clothes that I saved. Here, look at this. <laughs> Do you remember this? Oh, Aaron's <laughs> first Christmas. God, you think he's ever going to forgive us for that? He looked adorable in this. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me see what you have. Remember this? This is Abby's favorite sweater. She was so upset when she grew out of this. Oh my God. What are you doing with all this stuff? I thought Bill and Sharon might like to have it for the twins. Oh, oh yeah. They can buy anything they want. They don't need our hand-me-downs. Yeah, but, but these things are special. They have memories. Well, don't you think they're going to want to make their own memories? Yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just being silly. Silly and sentimental. Yes, you are. You're being very silly and very sentimental and very sweet. Hey. 
Were you expecting anyone? Come on, come on. Patty, Bill, and Sharon are here. Hey, can I get you something? No. I, I can make some coffee. No, thank you. We can't stay long. We just stopped by to... Uh... Look, there is no easy way to say this. What is it? Sharon, my wife has a medical problem. The doctors have advised us that the stress caused by raising two babies, it could be life-threatening. I, I don't understand. Patty, we feel terrible about this. But we won't be taking the baby boy you're carrying. Or if it should be two boys. We can't take either one. You don't want the babies? No, it's not that we don't want them. If the other baby is a girl, we'll take her. We'll definitely take her. Oh, I see. You're, you're willing to risk your life for, for a girl, but not for a boy. It's just that boys are so much harder. <laughs> well, Patty, you know what I mean. And I'm just afraid that with my health, I'm just not up to that. You're, you're going to separate these twins? Patty, we're not happy about this. You can't be serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. You're not choosing a pup from a litter, for God's sakes. These are your children, your blood. I think we better leave. No, no, no. W w wait a minute. Wait, what medical problem? What is this problem that you can't take your own children? That's a private matter. Really? No, no, Bill. Bill, what's going to happen to these babies? The boy or boys will be put up for adoption no patty if you want to be the person who makes the arrangements if that would be easier for you easier what the hell's the matter with you people aaron we've already made up our minds okay look look you let's just just cancel everything okay we'll just cancel the agreement you don't have to take responsibility for these babies at all no no absolutely not we're not canceling anything if you are carrying a baby girl She's legally ours, and we want her. Sharon, let's go. I don't believe this. There is no way they can do this. No way. We're here to see Mr. Hall. Do you have an appointment, Mr. Noah Kowski? Mr. Hall can't see right now. He's, He's in a meeting. meeting. Yeah, right. Wait. I know. I've been calling you since yesterday. Mr. Hall, I'm sorry. That's all right, Susan. I have a lunch appointment, but I can give you a few minutes. Oh, well, thank you very much. Bill and Sharon said they're not going to accept the baby boy that I'm carrying. They said if they're both boys, they're not going to take either one. Yes, I know. That's most unfortunate. Unfortunate? Is that all you can say? How do people like this get into your program? How do they pass the psychological test? I don't require a psychological evaluation of my clients. You required it of me. That doctor wanted to know every intimate detail about Patty's life. We require it of the surrogates in order to be certain they can give up the child. What about the homes of these people? Well, how do you even know that they're fit for children? Did anyone come into your home and evaluate you before you had children? No, this is not an adoption we're dealing with. This is a natural father fathering his own child. Oh, I see. Anyone can just stroll in here and for the right amount of money, you'll get him a baby. Mr. Nolkowski, I have very little time for this. Please! None of that matters right now. I'm going to have these babies any day, and at least one of them does not have a home. Now, look, they told me I can make the arrangements. And I know that you have all these infertile couples wanting babies. And there's got to be one that wants to adopt twin boys. Or at least one boy. And, you know, I'd want to meet them, of course. I'm afraid I can't help you. Why not? Private adoption is illegal in Michigan. The babies will have to be placed with an adoption agency. No, I want to meet the families. I want to know that they're going to a good home. That won't be possible. That's not good enough. Mr. Nowakowski, once the children are relinquished, the Child Welfare Agency oversees their placement. So we have no say in this. I'm sorry. All right, everybody's sorry.
Come on. Let's go. So that's it? We don't have any options. No, I'm afraid not. Now, why didn't you warn us that something like this could happen? Nobody could have anticipated something like this, Aaron. Maybe we should get a second opinion. Be my guest. Well, you're the one that said that this was not your field of law. That's right, Aaron. But I do know how to read a contract. And there's nothing we can do about it. You can't change the law. That's not right. How can they give one baby up for adoption? Because legally, the babies belong to them. If they want to, they can put them both up for adoption. Or they could... Or what? Put them into slavery? Or Aaron? sell them on the black market? I'm sorry. I do not mean to take this out on you. Right. I know. And I'm sorry, too. Bye, Patty. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We're gonna find a way out of this. What do you mean we're gonna find a way out of this? These are my babies you're talking about. Your babies. That's the first time you've called them that. What am I going to do? Patty, please don't. Uh, how can I let them separate my twins? Give us another push, go. Patty. Come you on. see the head. That's it. That's it. Good. Okay, again, Patty. There's come on, honey, come on. Okay, again, Patty. Come on, stay you with do me. it. You can do it. Good. 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 She's come out. She. <laughs> it's a girl. She's okay. She's just fine. Okay. Come on. We're only halfway through now, but the worst is over, okay? Come on. You can do it. Come on. Give me another big push, Patty. Big one. Breathe. Breathe. That's it. There you go. They're perfect, aren't they? They are absolutely perfect. Yes. They are beautiful babies. I can't wait for Bill and Sharon to see these two. When they see them, there is no way that they're not going to want them both. No way. It's okay. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, my gosh, look at them. Oh. They are precious. Wow. Oh. They're beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here. These are for you. Where should I put them? No, oh, here, I'll take them. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Mm. There's something else. Aren't they? You want to hold them? Can we? Of course, they're your children. Which one is she? Um, this one. Be careful with her. Oh, I've held a baby before, Bill. Oh, you are so sweet. Hello, you little doll. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, boy. She is incredible. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Look. She smiled at me. I think she was smiling. I don't think they smile at this age. No, I think they do. Hey, Bill, come on. There's one here for you, too. Plenty to go around. Come here, you. It's all right, big boy. It's okay. You big boy. You big boy. Hey there, big guy. Sure. They are both just the cutest things in the world, aren't they? Bill, look. Look at these little fingers. I think she has the hands of an artist. Look at this one's hands. I think he's got a pro ball career in his future. 
Yeah, he does seem strong, huh? He's a fine boy. Fine boy. I knew you would feel this way. I knew that when you saw them, you would want them both. Betty, they're both beautiful children, but we haven't changed our minds. What? Nothing has changed. We're oh. still only going to take the little girl. Bill, come on, that's your son you're holding there. I mean, before maybe it didn't seem real or something, I don't know, but now, I mean, look at him. He even looks like you. Aaron, I'm sorry. I thought this was settled. Betty, I'm sure he'll find a fine home. Bill, you can't do this. They're twins. You can't separate them. They belong together. You can't do this. We already talked about it. How can you turn your back on your son and live with yourself? Who let you people in here? There are no visitors allowed when the babies are out. I'm the father. Yeah, some father. Just get out, all right? I don't know what's going on here, but these babies are going back to the nursery right now. But, but... Sharon. Bill? Bill, don't do this, please. Bill, please don't... Sharon, please don't do this! What? What's gonna happen to that baby? Well, I guess that's everything. I know it's hard to be all curled up with someone for nine months and have them just go away. Sorry. You can't help how you feel, Aaron. And they would feel it too. And I want better for them. I want them to have a mother and a father who both love them and want them. I'll take this down to the car. Mrs. Nokowski? Yeah? I'm Mrs. Todd from Child Welfare. We spoke on the phone. Oh, yes. Uh, this is my husband, Aaron. Hello. Hi. Have you found a home for the boy? We have a foster home, but uh, I'm sure something more permanent will come up soon. They're beautiful babies. You do realize that you have the legal right to custody, if you want. You had it the moment the biological father gave him up for adoption. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The Davises, uh, they're waiting downstairs for the girl. Nurse, you can take her now. Watch her. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I should take him to the nursery. Got a bum to heal, huh?
guys. See you. Take it easy, Mom. Just ah. get out of the hospital. That's okay. Oh, I miss you guys so much. I don't like it when you leave us. I don't like it either, sweetheart. Where's baby? Uh, they're with their new mommy and daddy. When can we see them? Yeah! Guys, remember how we explained that these babies don't belong to us? We just wanted to see them. I know. Adam, but I'm afraid you can't see them. I'm sorry. Not ever. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Let's get Mom inside and let her rest, huh? Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I want Hey, 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 hey. No fighting. You can I both carry you. it now. Come on. I tied my room for you. And I tied you. Why don't you leave that, honey? I'll get it later. You look tired. No, I'm fine. Well, then let me help you. No, I can do it. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, three days goes by, the mail really piles up, you know? And I gotta get receipts together for taxes. Can't believe it's that time of year again. Remind me, I gotta call Roy make an appointment, all right? I don't think we're gonna owe anything this year. We might actually get money back. Patty? Where's Tommy? You had to go to school a little early. They have a field trip today. Well, I wish you would have told me. I feel like I never get to see him anymore. How's the baby? Up again late last night? No, she wasn't too bad. She's really gorgeous. I bet that when she grows up, she'll be almost as pretty as you are. Truce. I've been thinking about the hospital, and I think that some of the things Aaron said made sense. Sharon, I can't believe we're having this discussion again. He's also your son, Bill. No. I'm not going to allow this. We cannot keep tearing ourselves apart every day. A decision, the right decision was made, and that's that. But are you sure it is the right decision? Absolutely. You wanted to have a baby, and now you have one. Two babies were never in the cards. It simply can't work. Honey, take a look at our lives. I hardly have time for Tommy as it is. They're twins, Bill. Maybe they do belong together. <laughs> Will you stop? That's an old wives' tale. I don't think it is. They say that twins have a very special connection. They? Who are they? Are they going to come in here and live our lives? Sharon, I know this is emotional for you, but sometimes the best decisions are the toughest ones to make. And I'm not only worried about the emotional strain on you, I have responsibilities here too. I have expectations of myself as a father. And I'm just not that young a man anymore. When this boy becomes a teenager, will I be there? Will I be able to play ball with him? and do all the other things that boys expect. I don't want to make us unhappy, Bill. This decision was about you and me and our family. <laughs> That's all that matters. We just can't keep second guessing ourselves. We just can't. Okay. Okay. I love you.
love you. Coming. Yeah, the plumber said the roots are going to ruin our pipes. Yeah, I know what the plumber said. I've got it taken care of. Can you give me a soda or something, please? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any. I haven't been to the store. You have any juice or anything? You have some water? Never mind. I can put ice in it for you. No, I don't want any water. I mean, I'll fix it for you. I don't want any damn water. Well, then what do you want? My life. I want my life back. I want things to be back to normal. That's what I want. Well, how is anything supposed to be normal again? Oh, great. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Does that mean our life's over? What do you expect me to do, Aaron? Just forget that I have a child out there who needs me? You have three kids here that need you, and I need you. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm doing the best I can. Mama, Daddy! Are you guys okay? It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay, kids. Go back and play. Well, why are you and Daddy yelling? I'm sorry we scared you, sport. We won't do it again. It's okay, really. Sweetheart, go on. I got the swing. I got the swing first. I have to play golf. You said you could give up this baby. Yo, I didn't know that everyone would be giving him up. What do you want from me? Nothing, Aaron. Nothing you can give. I'm going to go see my baby. Wait, wait, Patty, wait. No, 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 no. I'm going to go see my baby. I need to know that he's okay. If you don't want to come with me, that's fine. go with you. Thanks. We'll be waiting in my office. So they'll bring him right in. Great. We've, uh, we've had a new development. Is he okay? Oh, yeah, he's fine, Mrs. Nowakowski. I just got off the phone with my supervisor, and uh, it seems we found an adoptive family for your baby. <laughs> yes, it's a very nice couple. Do you know when they would want to take him? Nothing's final yet. You still have time to take custody yourselves, you know. Oh, here he is. Oh, hey. Do you miss me? I missed you. Yeah, I missed you. How you doing, little slugger, huh? Has he lost some weight? He hasn't. Looks like he hasn't been eating. Well, it's not unusual for them to drop a little from their birth weight in the first couple of weeks. Uh, maybe. He looks kind of disoriented. Well, he's been through a lot. Poor little guy. You don't know where you belong, do you? Hey, Mommy's here. Mommy's here. It's okay. I have a couple of calls to return. I'm, I'm going to take them in the other office. Oh, no. 
moment, huh? Uh, this is your fault, is it? No, you didn't do anything wrong, did you? No, no, no. You must think this world's a pretty mixed up place, huh? Yeah, so... Are you all right? Please don't. Aaron, what are you doing here? I was just thinking about my dad. I know you miss him, honey. We all do. I was just sitting there thinking and, and trying to sort things out, and I just felt him all around me. You know what we have to do, don't you? Are you sure? You can't do this just for me. I'm not. That little guy doesn't deserve to start out life being rejected by everyone he knows. Kids have a hard enough time these days without having that strike against him. Can you really love another man's child? He's part of you and you're part of me. So what do you think of your baby brother? He's kind of small. Yeah? Well, so were you at that age. Look how big and strong you grew up to be, huh? What's his name? Arthur, but we can call him Artie. Hi, Artie. He likes me. <laughs> of course, he loves you. You're his big brother. What's wrong with him? He's lonely for his sister. Right, Mama? I think he's probably just hungry. I'll hold him, you get the bottle. Come here. Hello? This is Connie Binsfield. Senator Connie Binsfield. Yeah? I appreciate your meeting with me. I don't know what we can do to help. Oh, I think you can do quite a bit. In fact, I believe that your testimony is just what I need to get my bill passed. Please. Which would outlaw surrogacy in this state. Commercial surrogacy. That means no money would be allowed to change hands. If a friend or a relative wanted to help out someone she knew, I have nothing against that. It's these baby mill operations I'm going after. Lawyers who are getting rich off these deals with no concern for the consequences when they don't work out. We just thought we were helping someone. Yeah, we thought we were doing the right thing. I have no doubt about that. 
But even with motives as pure as yours, you can see the inherent dangers in this kind of arrangement. And unfortunately, it's the children who suffer. What would I have to do? I mean, I'm, I'm not a public speaker. Just tell your story, that's all. You don't have to take any kind of position. Just tell the committee what happened to you. Committee? It will just be a small, informal hearing, I assure you. Mrs. Nowakowski, how do you feel toward the couple who refused your son? I'll repeat the statement that I prepared for the committee. In a program that involves the, uh, the feelings and emotions of human beings, there are no guarantees. And it's impossible to know how the surrogate mother will feel after the birth of the baby. Or how the biological father and his wife will feel if it's not the perfect baby they were expecting. If it has a physical or mental handicap, or as in our case, if it is simply the wrong sex. I gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, for an infertile couple. The couple took only the baby girl, refusing responsibility for the boy who my husband and I have since adopted. Look, Lizzie, all right? <laughs> hey, Joe! Joe! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, what's the rush, man? Oh, I got a big sales meeting. Yeah, well, uh, you never called me back. Are we still on for Friday? I'm afraid not, Aaron. I don't think it's a good idea. What are you talking about? Believe me, I don't care what you and Patty do with your lives. But my wife and some of the others are very upset by the circuit business. Yeah, well, we're upset about it, too. You think we wanted all this publicity? It's just too awkward right now, Aaron. For you, your friends. Oh, some friends. Oh, come on, Joey. We just wanted to help these people out. I'm sorry. Look. I gotta go. your little performance and I think you should know that Bill was very upset very upset all I did was tell the truth you made us seem like monsters I never mentioned you by name and if you think you sounded like a monster Sharon maybe that's your own guilt we've done nothing to feel guilty about you lied to us from the very beginning you said you would accept any baby a boy a girl handicapped and every word of it was a lie. Every single word of it. That's not true. I can't help it if I'm ill. Oh, come on, Sharon. You have so much money. You could have gotten nurses or nannies. You could have kept these babies together if you had wanted to. Well, he looks perfectly fine and happy to me. You really don't get it, do you? Did you ever stop to think for one minute what you're doing to their lives? Or our lives, for that matter? I mean, what kind of hell you're putting everybody through? I don't have time for this. You know something? I'm sorry. No, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I gave you that little girl because you don't deserve her. You don't deserve to be a mother at all. Don't you pass judgment on me. I never sold one of my children. You know, I was, I was so angry, I just wanted to pull that baby right out of her arms. She had no right to say that to you. Well, maybe she did. I mean, it's true, isn't it? No matter how we want to gloss it over or what our reasons may have been, I sold her. I sold my own baby. Oh, stop it. This is crazy. We are not the bad guy here. Hello. No. No, I don't want to be interviewed. No, I said no! Ah, oh, damn reporters. They've been calling all day. I mean, it's like a feeding frenzy. You know what was on the radio this morning on one of those call-in talk shows? I had it on when I walked into work. I mean, all day long, everyone kept looking at me like I'm some kind of a criminal or something. And then that thing with Joe. I am tired of this. I'm sorry I got us into this, Aaron. 
We went into this together. Bill. I'm only going to say this once. We're in the process of finalizing the adoption of our daughter. And if you ever mention our names publicly, if you so much as breathe our names to anyone, you'll be hearing from our attorneys. <laughs> Don't you go threatening me. It's not a threat. It's a promise. Bill Davis is going to sue us if we mention their name. But when does this end? I don't know, sweetie. Oh. You know, I'm glad they didn't get Artie. I hate to think of him growing up with those people. Yeah. Or his sister. Hmm? How's Artie going to feel when he finds out he has a sister he's never been allowed to know? What's our son going to think of his parents, huh? Patty, if we let those kids stay apart, we're just as bad as they are. We have to get her back. That's how it ends. It's the only way it ever will. Mrs. Tan from Child Welfare said that you were the only attorney she knew who specialized in this field. Reproductive law is a whole new frontier. I don't know if you got a chance to look over the contract that we gave you. I did. Well, our lawyer told us that they were well within their rights to keep only one of the babies. They said that they could do whatever they wanted with one of them or both of them for that matter. I'm afraid that your attorney misinterpreted the agreement. How can that be? Again, this is a very specific type of law, so in his defense, I can see how it may have happened. We have to get her back, because we can't let them grow up knowing that one was chosen over the other. Mrs. Nowakowski, in my opinion, when the Davises took only one of the babies, they were clearly in breach of contract. So you think we have a good chance? Yes, I do. Yes. Is this the Davis residence? Yes, it is. I'd like to speak to Mr. Davis, please. Your name, please. <clears throat> Mr. Davis, please. I need... It's a personal matter, ma'am. If you're not going to give me your name, I'm certainly not going to disturb Mr. Davis. He's already disturbed. What's the problem here? Mr. William Davis? Yes. Sorry, sir. Good morning to your daddy, huh? Son of a bitch. Bill? They're suing us. What? Who? Patty and Aaron. They're suing us for custody. I pay your firm a damn fortune. What the hell do you mean my position is tenuous? At best. Tenuous at best. Just answer me. Bill, you breached the contract. Now, we talked about this. I told you what could happen. <sighs> All right. Then I'm just going to string this thing out. I'll keep him in court forever. They got no money. They won't be able to fight us for long. Yes, they'll give up. They'll have to, and then they'll leave us alone. Well, they've gone public, you know. They probably have a book deal already, for God's sake. Public? This is not just going to go away. Public? I don't care. Sharon, 
We told everybody that we were adopting. I don't care. I don't want to lose her. Oh, God, Bill, please. And you think I do? You think I want to lose her? She's my daughter, damn it! It's okay. It's okay. Mama's here. She's my little girl. <laughs> and I suppose the press is going to be camped out on our doorstep. He'll be intimate with Donahue. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm just not going to soft pedal this for you. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Just let them take her? All right. Do you want to fight? We'll fight. I just want you to understand the kind of heat you're going to take. I've taken heat before. For a lot less. We'll handle it. We just have to. I see. And does that go for your son as well? Tommy? What's he going to do when one of his playmates asks him why his parents gave away his little brother? Oh, dear God. Maybe you can handle it. But can he? Are you willing to take that risk? She said she would call the second the meeting was over. What time was the meeting at? Three o'clock. Do you think they're still talking? I don't know. I mean, either they're going to give us the baby or they're not. Madeline. Hi, Hello. Hi, we've been waiting for your call. Uh-huh. Imagine. She's in the kitchen. Hi. Hello, Patty. Yeah. So, how would you like to bring your daughter home tomorrow? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's terrific. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I know how difficult all this publicity has been, but as it turns out, it really worked in our favor. The Davises were scared to death of a public trial, and apparently they had told everyone that they were simply adopting a child. I can't, I can't believe this. Okay. <laughs> they refused to provide us with any medical evidence about Sharon's illness, which leads me to believe that there never was one. They knew they couldn't win. What about visitation? They've agreed to give up all the rights to the child. That means no visitation and no contact whatsoever. There is, however, one stipulation. You can never, under any circumstances, reveal their names to anyone. Show them in. Please, come in. Take a seat. 
You've read and fully understand the agreement? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. Just need you to sign. So we've been giving her soybean milk, and that seems to have helped. I brought some for you. Her favorite toys and clothes. Thank you, Bill. Her mother went out and bought something special for her to wear. To make her look beautiful for you today. Thank you for taking such good care of her. If you ever need anything, please call. Can I hold her? No, Adam, she's still too little. What's her name? Her name's Alyssa. Let I already see her. Yeah, now he won't be alone anymore. Right, Mama? Here, come on. Hi, Alyssa. Look, Artie. Look. Look, Artie, there's your sister. There's your sister, huh? Say hi. Say hi. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. Hi. Hey, sweetie. Hi. Hello. Take my eyes off of them. Hmm? They're 
real and they're here and no one's ever going to take them away again. Thank you. It's official. The twins are legally mine. <laughs> Here are the guests of honor. Jeez. Why right, everyone get around the table? Come on, kids. Come on, get it. Oh, all right. This is all right, sweetie. All right, everyone smile. May I present to you Alicia and Artie Nowakowski. Is everybody here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all in the yard. Um, can, can you manage with this? Sure. Uh, I've got to take care of something. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be out in a minute. Okay. She's fine. They're both fine. What are you doing here? The court notified us about the final papers. Yeah? The bill is devastated. I've never seen him like this. Sharon, what is it that you want? I just thought if I could see her, hold her just Ab for a moment, absolutely maybe. Absolutely not. This, this is outrageous. Oh, God, Patty, I miss her so much. I have a house full of family and friends. This is a very special day for us. How dare you show up here and ask me something like that? I know we were wrong. Horribly wrong. And we suffered for it, believe me. We're so sorry. Can't you forgive us, please? Sharon, it's not a question of forgiving. What could it hurt just to let me see her? I don't think it's a good idea. Penny, we love her so much. I know you do. I can see that. But you want what's best for her, don't you? Well, of course I do. Do you really think that it's best for her to be torn emotionally between two families? No. When she's old enough to understand, we'll tell her the truth. And then, if she wants to see you, that'll be her decision. Maybe we could just stay in, in touch. We could get pictures of her, do you think? Sharon, we want to put this behind us. We want to get on with our lives. I'm sorry.
In September, my husband's adoption of the twins became final. My heart still aches for couples who are unable to have families of their own. And I don't know what the answer is to that problem. I do know that every day, as I watch my own children change and grow, I am now, more than ever, unbelievably grateful for every precious moment of their lives. Families. All right, everyone smile at the camera. Look at the camera.